Hi, welcome to Three Way Fit. My name is Audrey Jones. I am your yoga teacher for today. We are going to do a 20 minute sunset yoga session. And this is my friend Melissa Daggett, who is also a lead trainer on Three Way Fit. Hey, what's so. up, everybody? Let's get our sexy yoga sunset. Yes. Okay, so we are going to start in child's pose. So you're going to come onto your hands and knees. Okay, so hands are stacked underneath your shoulders, knees are stacked underneath your hips. Bring, if you're on the mat, we are not on the mat, bring your knees as wide as the mat and then shift your weight back towards your ankles, making sure the tops of your feet are flat into the ground and then reach your hands forward. Um, towards the front of the room or in front of you and then press your forehead into the ground. Inhale. Exhale. You just wanna take a moment and thank God for another day on earth. Whatever was or whatever is bothering you today, I just want you to challenge yourself on letting that go, just surrendering it. To help you be in the present moment. If ever you feel your mind start to wander, just bring your mind back to the breath. From here, you're gonna come back to a tabletop position where we first started. And then we're gonna push our hips up towards the sky for downward dog. Pressing our palms into the ground, spreading our fingers out wide. Heels are slightly lifted. The goal of this is to get your hips higher and higher towards the sky, almost like a string is pulling you up higher and higher. If you need to bend your knees more to get your hips higher, do so. You want to push your hips up so high that you're, it's almost like your stomach is resting into your thighs. Slight bend in the elbows. Since this is our first time here today, we're going to kind of shake it out. Maybe nod your head yes. Nod your head, no. Alternate bending the knees. Now you're gonna inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. If you can't touch the ground, then bend your knees more until you can touch the ground getting fire ants all over me. <laughs> Hopefully this does not turn back. Then you're gonna grab opposite elbows, letting your upper body hang heavy. Your feet should be hip distance apart. Maybe sway side to side. Slowly release the elbows, and you're gonna roll roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. Bringing your hands to the side, palms facing front of the room. From here, you're gonna reach your arms up over your head, slight arch in the back, and then exhale, forward fold. Step back for high plank, making sure the hands stacked under the shoulders, sucking in those abs, keeping the butt tight, sort of pushing your heels back towards the back of the room. From here, we're gonna shift forward. Then you're gonna bend your elbows so they squeeze in towards your ribs and lower down for cobra. 
Inhale. Leading with your heart, pulling your shoulders back, pressing through the palms. Let's breathe on that fresh air. Exhale. Push back to downward dog. Remembering to breathe. Maybe this time you push those hips up a little bit higher. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Keeping the right leg in line with your back. Bend the right knee. And then you're gonna bring your right foot through in between your hands. And set up for warrior one. So placing the back foot at a 45 degree angle, maybe taking a wider stance, rise up for warrior one. Making sure that front knee is over that front ankle. The knee should be pointed towards your pupil toe. And then you want to make sure all your weight is not heavy in that front leg. So if you feel like all your weight is in your front leg, start pushing some of your energy back into that back foot to keep your weight centered. Softening the shoulders, creating space between the ears and shoulders. From here, we're gonna open up to warrior two. Shift the back foot to a 90 degree. And bring the arms, or open the hips to the left side, arms out wide. Gaze is forward. And someone taught me once that your front arm represents grabbing onto the future, and your back arm represents holding on to the past where you want to be is in the center, the present moment. From here, you're going to drop your, your arm, your elbow to your front thigh and reach over your head. Your left arm should be over your left ear. Gaze up towards the ceiling for more of a challenge. Feeling that stretch. As you notice, we're holding these poses a little bit longer because this is the end of our day. Assuming you did a hard workout this morning, maybe one with me, Melissa, and I, such as the beach body workout or the weight workout. From here, we're going to come back to Warrior Two, bending that front knee, roll the hands down, step the right foot back. Shift forward for vinyasa, inhale, lower halfway, exhale, rise up for upward facing dog. Top to the feet should be pressed into the ground, exhale, push back to downward dog. Beautiful, look at that sunset. Okay, inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky, keeping it in line with your back. You don't, the goal here is not to get it as high as you can. You want it to be in line with your spine. Bend the knee. Inhale, bring the left foot in between your front palms and rise up for warrior one, dropping that back foot. You okay? <laughs> it's been a long day. And dropping that back foot at a 45 degree angle, making sure your hips are square to the front of the room. So if you feel like your hips aren't square, you might have to bring that back foot out a little bit more to the right. Warrior one. It's a beautiful day, night here in Sanibel, Florida. Remember to keep your weight center. Don't drop all that weight in your front knee. If you feel like you can't get your knee above your ankle, you might have to widen your stance or lessen your stance. Now from here, we're gonna open up to warrior two, bringing to the right side, dropping that back foot at a 90 degree angle. Remembering to stay in the present, center that weight. Don't worry about the future, don't worry about the past, just stay in this present moment, this beautiful sunset that we're enjoying in Sanibel.
from here, you're gonna drop your front arm, your front leg, and reach over your head, looking up towards the sky. Coming back to warrior two. Roll the arms down. Do another vinyasa. Inhale, shift forward, lower halfway. Inhale, rise up for upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Hands are in front of your feet. If you can't touch the ground, that means you need to bend your knees more. Everybody can touch the ground. Don't say you can't touch the ground. You just gotta bend your knees more. That's it. Give me my competition. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up for upper reaching hand. Exhale, forward fold. Step back for high plank. From here, you're gonna push back to downward dog. So from here, we're gonna come back to child's pose, dropping the knees out wide. Reaching out in front of you, so a little bit deeper stretch this time. Remembering to breathe. So now we're going to come back up and I want you to find your way to your back. Setting up for a twist. We're going to lay on our back. We're going to bring our left knee in towards our chest. Side, bringing our left arm out to the left side along with our gaze, along with our head turning to the left side. Right hand should be on that left thigh, sort of helping deepen the stretch. Just giving some love to our body today. Our thighs need it, our thighs do a lot of work. Bring that knee back into your chest. Drop the left knee, bring the right knee in towards the chest. Same thing, opposite side, bring the knee to the left side. Right arm So just letting your weight, all of your weight, just melt into the sand or the floor. Letting go of your fingers, letting go of your toes. Showing gratitude for this moment in time. Thanking yourself for taking the time to take care of your body and mind.
paying attention to the wind as it blows over you. Letting those last little bit of sun rays soak into your skin. Now when you're ready, you can bring your knees into your chest. And then we're gonna roll over to the side in the fetal position. And when you're ready, you can join me, meeting me in a sitting cross-legged. towards the front of the room. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale the future, exhale the past. Bring your thumb up to your third eye. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. That's a wrap on our sunset yoga. I hope you enjoyed your time with Melissa and I. The sunset was sort of my timer, so I think we did good. <laughs> we got it just in, 20 minutes. <laughs> Thank you.